Okay, so last night on Britain's Got Talent, Diversity, the dance group, performed a routine. Uh, I'll be honest, I've not seen the routine. I've just seen what uh, I've gleaned from the news this morning. I'm not sure whether, whether I really want to see the whole thing. Because I, I don't normally watch this program anyway. But it's just, it's been trending on Twitter this morning. So I thought I'd have a look and see what's going on. And obviously we can see what's, you know, what the, the deal is that they're talking about here. Uh, it says it's a routine inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement which featured a police officer kneeling down on member Ashley Banjo's neck. He's the only member I, I know the name of. So, is this appropriate for a TV show? For a popular entertainment show that's sort of early evening entertainment on a Saturday night on ITV? Uh, I mean, this must have been discussed with him in advance, otherwise, you know, it's not the kind of thing they would just drop in unannounced, and quite frankly, it was probably, I don't think he was live anyway, so, yeah, it must have been, uh, they must have known about it in advance. It's certainly not what you'd normally expect to pop up on ITV. It does beg the question, I see what he's driving at, but please tell me, Ashley Banjo or anyone else, I, I'm, now I'm not saying, what I don't know what the solution is here, I have absolutely no idea, I'm in the UK, uh, we don't have, our cops don't have guns, our cops, well, actually, soon after this the situation happened with George Floyd, there was another case, of, there was a case of uh, two cops in the UK kneeling on somebody's neck, and quite, uh, it was quite bizarre to see that, maybe that's something they do all the time, I don't know, it was quite bizarre to see, it obviously it was shown on the news, uh, and someone, had filmed, someone must have filmed it, because of what's happened in the light of George Floyd, but some I mean, I understand American cops are trained to deal with people this way. If that's not correct, then tell me in the comments. So, so what? What is the procedure? What should the cops have done? Uh, just no one, you know, before listen to, listen to the whole thing because before you start sort of commenting and whatever. Don't get all aerated and start jumping up and down before you start typing. What is what, what should cops do? Because obviously what cops do should not result in the death or you know, disfigurement or paralyzing of a human being. That that is not what should be happening. So what where what's where's the middle of this? What what should they have done? Because just talking in the situation regarding George Floyd, he wouldn't get out of his car. And because when I saw the whole video, he wouldn't get out of his car. And then when they eventually sort of manhandled him out of the car, he wouldn't get into the police car. So, you know, then even when they did get him into the police car, he then got out soon after. Uh, clearly his eyes were bulging, so he must be must have been taking something. It's certainly not what you'd expect anyone you know, you wouldn't expect anyone to be in that position just willy nilly. So, obviously, what's what the yeah, the end result was not right by a long chalk. But what's what should they have done? Where's the middle ground to restrain someone and obviously still be alive and well? And then move on to Jacob Blake. He had a warrant out for I'm not even sure if I can say it in the uh, in the dialogue because. Yeah, you, the way YouTube's algorithm works. But he had a warrant out for his arrest. And cops tased him. And he carried on walking. He just ignored them. I mean, he's, you know, he's a big bloke. He must have... Uh, how you sort of shake off 50,000 volts or whatever it is, I, I do not know. I know I know if someone tasered me, <laughs> I'd be on the floor and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be moving for a week. But... Um, he then just got up and walked towards a car, which I understand was his girlfriend's car, but had his children in it. So he obviously had their children in it. It's his ex-girlfriend's car. I don't know. And he ignored all reports. So he ignored all you know instructions to stop what he was doing. Police had guns trained on him. I know if I had, if I was walking along and police had guns trained on me and they told me to stop, I would stop. It's that simple. But he carried on walking towards the car. For all they knew, he could have been going to get a weapon. He could have been going to set off a device which could have, you know, caused a big explosion. Uh, they didn't know. So for them, he constituted a threat. So.
So what should they have done? Obviously, shooting in the back and and par causing paralysis is not it, it's a horrible outcome. So what should they have done? How should they have restrained somebody? So, so yeah, just tell me in the comments here. I'm asking you know, what. It, perhaps if it's someone in America who maybe has experience with this sort of thing, you tell me what should the cops have done in both cases to end it up with a good outcome so that the you know Floyd and Blake can be arrested and and, you know, dis, you know, and the cops can have a discussion with them about exactly what they did without resorting to what they did. Because I'd like to know. I mean, all we hear in the UK, all we see in the UK, is just people going on marches, not social distancing in the current situation. And then they just end up, especially as we saw from the videos over the weekend in Rochester, in Rochester, New York, they're just walking around trashing restaurants, which, I mean, that's not the answer either. What's the whole deal with that? You know, that's not, that's not uh, ideal, is it, for Black Lives Matter? So... You tell me, what is the answer? How, how do we resolve this? Because I'm at a loss. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. In the meantime, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the little bell for all the notifications and cue Genesis.